Hello, it's Workday once again. I uh, can't really think of anything to say for a long-winded intro this time. Last video was probably the most boring one in the series yet. Today, though, I want to start working on making and fitting up a guard for this thing, because it's pretty much at that point now, so... I'm going to put on a work shirt and then we'll get to work. Okay, before I go get into work on the guard, I first want to uh, look about look at handle materials, because you see most of my things are made out of hickory. Uh, where's the hickory on? But you see, the issue is the hickory is a smidge thin as far as the planks go. Now, that's not a problem. I can just, uh, you know, stack it up and all that to get the appropriate thickness, but... You know, I've sort of wanted to try a solid handle for a while now. When we have this piece of oak here, or pieces of oak that used to be a shelf, I'm thinking that looks just thick enough to make for a decent handle, you know? So, first thing I'm going to do before I go uh, work on that guard is I'm going to put this oak on a table. I'm going to finish a bit of it the way I finish... All of my handles sand to a rough 220 grit. Then I'll give it a quick burn with the torch. And I'll linseed oil it and see how it looks. Get to that then. So now that we have that uh, decision to make, it's time to move on to the guard. So some measurements I took earlier off my drawing using very, very professional tools uh, showed me that I drew the guard as being about 10 and a half inches long. As such, 
I'm going to find a piece of steel that's longer than 10 and a half inches, so that way if 10 and a half inches is not in fact long enough, I don't have to find a way to magically make more steel on it, so we'll get to that now. All right, so I found a suitable, I found a suitable hunk of steel, which is a piece of steel iron that a friend of mine flattened out a while ago. I'm going to cut 12 inches off of this, and then shave it down to like three and a quarter inches wide somehow. Now this sand it looks like it burned up in the forge some. This sends a bit funky shape, so I could probably fix that up. Why does end does have a funk on it though? Yeah, the funk is less than three inches, so yeah, can't do that. Right there though, that may do good. Three and a half inches. I can make that work. Yeah, we'll make that work. Alright. Square. Where are the carpenter squares? Ah, oh, they've got dust all over me. Let's see if I cannot find the carpenter squares, so I will use some wood to approximate. That's not straight. Oh, yeah. Also, yeah, check this out. That's the sum total of all the filing I did yesterday. There's also some on the floor, but that's most of the filing. It's a good, uh, do yourself a good line of steel there. <laughs> uh, uh, about the shape of this piece so that it's all funkily curved and all that.
almost the entire guard done. It's not nice on the hands. All right. So now we are hypothetically left with the roughly 12 inch piece of steel in which we are. And it is more or less three and a half inches long the whole way down. That thing is not flat in the slightest. For starters, I think we're going to go over to the belt set, to the belt grinder, and we'll use the 24 grit to blast this ridge out of the middle so maybe I can try flattening it down some. Let's get to it. Hey, it's me from the future. I'm, edit in, the, I'm in the process of editing the, of editing the video right now. I just realized that this part exactly, I did not explain what I'm doing. Pretty much, I, gave, I took a good long look at the piece and decided that I didn't want to keep grinding on it because otherwise this video would just turn into another grinding special. So instead I went away over to the steel pile to start trying to find uh, a better, flatter piece of steel that I would not have to grind so much on. So yes, what I'm doing right there. That's a really straight cut. Check that out. That's a skill saw stunned that. That's impressive. Yep. I'm realizing a mistake I made here last time. I kept recording. I'm gonna stop you now so I don't have such a long video bit segment. Okay, we're back. It's been two seconds since I hit the pause, the uh, stop recording button, so nothing has happened. Time to grind the paint off of this piece. Where are my gloves? right back really quick. So I got myself a pair of vice grips. And I'm going to I'm going to take them and clamp them on to this so that way I can test etch it for two reasons. First and foremost to see if this is galvanized. And if it is galvanized, then the test etch will burn a lot of that galvanization off given time. So, into the acid tube. Make that a bit tighter, actually.
to the tube. Uh, pull that barely fits. All right, we'll give that a couple minutes in there. Uh, well, I just figured out that the acid is not actually deep enough for the whole blank to fit into. Only that much of the end of it was in the acid. But if you'll notice, we'll focus on the steel. You can see very clearly where the acid stopped, which means that it etched, which then means that this is not galvanized, which, like he told me, I didn't hear him say that, but apparently he told me that it's not galvanized, it was only painted, so it's time to move ahead on the garden making. These shoulders aren't aligned properly, so I gotta square them up. Now you're ready to sail with a horn way, hey, roll and go. The anchor's on board and the cables also be rollicking randy dandy. Heave a ball, heave away, way, hey, roll and go. Soon we'll be rolling her down through the bay, be rollicking randy dandy. Come rest the pause, boys, anchors away, away, hey, roll and go. The anchors on board and the cables are still to be rolling randy dandy. Me poor barn bully in the alley way, hey, bully in the alley, help me poor barn bully in the alley, bully down in Zimbo Sally was a girl in Zimbo Valley, way, hey, bully in the alley, Sally was a girl that I spliced nearly, bully down Zimbo Mouse, oh, help me go by Bully in the Alley, way, hey, Bully in the Alley, help me go by Bully in the Alley, Bully done Zimbo now. Really riveting stuff, eh? <laughs> Uh, although we aren't working with rivets, though, just files. <laughs> here's a drink to you, here's a drink to me, and here's a drink to all the comrades in the company. And when we're on the ocean, the face must handy be, and bring us safely home to dear old Ireland. Our ship is lying waiting for to sail the Asian main. With a cargo full of whiskey and tons of Irish grain, they're heading, we're heading for the sunny shores of Portugal and Spain. But soon we will return to the old Ireland. So here's a drink to you, boy. Here's a drink to me, and here's a drink to all our comrades in the company. And when we're on the ocean, may the fate must kindly be, and brings us safely home to the old Ireland. So fare you well, sweet nanny, you're the girl that I adore. And likewise you, we friends and family on the Irish shore. We'll all be ten the other side, we'll make the rafter tour. When we return again to do something, I hear the laughter. So here's a drink to you, here's a drink to me. And here's a drink to all our comrades in the company. When we're on the ocean, may the face most kindly be. And bring us safely home to dear old Ireland. And now we're on the ocean, now the wind is blowing high. The schooner is cutting through the waves like lightning, she can fly. But when I think of you, me girl, my heart begins to cry. Oh, I wish I was back home in dear old Ireland. So here's a drink to you, me boy, and here's a drink to me. And here's a drink to all our comrades in the company. When we're on the ocean, the first must kindly be, and bring us safely home to dear old Ireland.
Two Spanish senioritas, sir, will take your breath away. A rolling with the sailor boys is how they earn their pay. But I have someone on me mind from far and never stray. For I have a sweetheart back in dear old Ireland. So here's a drink to you, middle. Here's a drink to me. And here's a drink to all our comrades in the company. And when the world of the ocean may the face must kindly be, and bring us safely home to the old island. So pass the flowing bowl, boys, there's whiskey in the jar. We'll drink to all the lassies at the jolly roving car. But here we are, we're back and safe upon the shore. <coughs> In Belfast town we'd like to stay and go to sea no more. We'll go into a public house and wait till we're content. For the lassies they will love us till our money is all spent. So pass the flowing bowl, boys, there's whiskey in the jar. And we'll drink to all the lassies and the golden car. Oh, Johnny, did you miss me when the nights were long and cold? Did you find another love in your arms to hold? Says he, a thought of only you, of the sea afar. So come up the stairs and cuddle with your jolly roving tar. So pass the flowing bowl, boys, there's whiskey in the jar. I'll drink to all the lassies of the jolly roving tar. Well, any check of his arms. Ow! Now we're gonna set that aside for a second because I need to work on the touch mark a little bit actually. One moment, please. So if you watched the build series for my nephew's knife, you'll remember this little thing. This is a touch mark that I made so I could mark his knife with our logo, that being a letter I. I wanted one that was a little bit more uh, refined than our old touch mark. Anyways, it still turned out a bit chunky. So I'm going to file this down a bit more to make it a bit sharper. So if one, I have to destroy the heat treat on it. Now I'll let that cool down a little bit. I'm doing is coming in here with a file and trying to get some of these angles on the uh, edges and whatnot steeper so that way it's not so much punching the metal more as it is cutting the metal. Okay, it's cooled off enough now that I don't think we're at risk of uh, re-hardening it if we dunk it into some water, so... I'm going to give it a quick dunk. I'm not doing it normally. I'm going to dunk it in water influenced by them.
Lovely. It's already dry. It's definitely a bit warm. And now we're just filing away. Stay hydrated, boys and girls. Time to heat treat. Right, now to work. Yeah, I need to go a little bit into the corner because that's where the bucket's at. There we go, a hardened, tempered, reshaped touch mark. Voila. So you can get a better look at this. Boom. Holes all drilled. Now it's time to start filing again. Oh boy. Alright, well, the camera's almost out of battery, which is why I have not been filming. But I've been doing some filing here. Got those middle holes connected. They were mostly connected already, but. Yep, yeah, it's a lot of work with this little guy. Anyways, my hand is dying now, it's cramping, so I'm gonna call it a day for now. Um, good solid day of work. Got the, got the shoulders of the sword squared up some more. Got a stock for the guard cut out, got it filing. So yeah, good day of work. That's really all for now. If you've liked this video, please consider liking and subscribing to see our future videos and to see how this project turns out. And, uh, that's really all for now. Until next time.